Hello dear students. So yeah, actually I didn't expect that kind of response over the mathematics optional. Actually what happened is uh, in the month of July I was a bit free from my office hours. So I thought I should deliver something to maths optional aspirants. Uh, the mentoring part I have been doing consistently over the Quora for GS as well as you can see UPSC statuses I am discussing their name Rupinder Singh over the Quora profile. So I thought ki I should shoot some video whenever I will be free I will just float. So what happened in the month of July approx just I shooted those videos, video lectures for abstract algebra and just on the <laughs> night before the independence day this I uploaded just on my ID only. I never uploaded anything on my ID, but I did. So people contacted over that. Ki chalo, uh, just one lecture, two lecture, three lecture. When consistently I floated the lectures up to 11 and I finished the group theory part in those lectures. So what people asked now, because in the description I gave my contact number also that I usually do over Quora also. Na? People who know me, they, they know what I do. <laughs> So what I uh, like, uh, what aspirants are suggesting, okay, sir, please continue this lecture series. Uh, I received many calls also over my number. Mr. Namit from Lucknow University, Monica from Zamia, Dinesh, my student from Iadrodki. So there are many messages I received. Some names also there. So okay, fine. No need to read the comments again. Yes, they said please continue this lecture series. Even Nanak was saying that abstract algebra, very first time we are studying in this manner, in this way. So what uh, I thought is there are two types of candidates. Number one, who are good in applied math, applied maths, like numerical analysis, LPP, calculation type of things. Okay. People who are good at pure mathematics, algebra, analysis and all. But what is the reason behind that they could perform well or they won't perform well if their strategy is not adequate? So I have combined my experience throughout my UPC journey as mathematics optional, as a trainer for last 10 years for higher mathematics. How I improved myself after doing blunder in my first mains, then how I did well in my second mains. I have combined all those experiences to deliver now. So to suit this video or to upload this video, the purpose is how this lecture series will go on now. Uh, Actually, from the office hours, it's uh, like a bit hectic to manage, but yes, now I am determined because the responses or the messages I got over my like, number. Now I am determined to go for the mathematics optional in a disciplined manner. I will do each topic and it will be designed like the institute classes. Is on the specified dates, lectures will be uploaded. You will receive assignments. You will have tests frequently over the specified time period. Let's say we have finished some particular subtopic. We will give you test. We will evaluate those. So what I have decided is okay, now over the YouTube only, that's okay to see. I am going to do all these topics of mathematics optional. Okay. So, pure parts, applied parts, and you know what uh, the feedback I received. Uh, obviously, I don't want to defame anyone or something like I am not the one itself. <laughs> So, the feedback I received is, Sir, 
there are lengthy lectures there like uh, three hours three plus three six hours lecture sometimes eight hours lecture people are attending so please try to concise the things so that we can say pupc parents can save our time so i will combine my experience of teaching as well as a student on combining all those experiences i will teach this mathematics optional in a completely different way and that way will be let's say people who are new to this uh, platform they can go on the upendra singh maths just type upendra singh maths over the youtube and you will find those videos you can see how i have finished in 11 lectures all that group theory part so with this thing let's say linear algebra let's say real analysis in the next lecture we will be starting after the ring theory real analysis so i will summarize the real analysis i will try to give you proper notes in which you will be suggested in which manner you have to go through for the mathematics optional right so everything you will be provided at this platform only and we will be continue this mathematics optional so abstract algebra group theory already uploaded so <laughs> all the it was started just like volunteer but now it's taking say next we will be doing ring theory integral domain and field after that probably i will start the real analysis fine so for real analysis you people will receive proper assignments weekly test and more importantly how to strategize your cac preparation with gs and optional as maths how to strategize it if you want to read something about this i have written lot over my core profile you can go there and you can check so for me it is not like i am a mathematics trainer it is a person who has faced both of the aspects teacher for a long career from the year 2013 i have been teaching after my added ali and now as this whatever i have learned through my upsc journey i will combine those so what will happen whenever we will be taking lectures whenever the this lecture series in what manner it should go everything will be planned like how you can save how you can utilize your time for gs as well and maths optional so fine so this is the message uh, over those <laughs> your responses uh, your responses which i got over my number so yes this is how we will deal this optional so stay tuned we will probably start from the next week uh, the ring bala part we will complete and after the real analysis so all this lecture series all these assignments will be started probably from the next week or like uh, after 5th of september it will be regularly uploaded uploaded uh, uploaded and you people will enjoy the lecture hope but i